there is that fear there, I feel like, with sharing like our food that like, oh, someone's not gonna like it. And you kind of just gotta like say, no, just don't be scared of your culture. Don't be scared of the flavor. Sorry Sorry stores in the Philippines are like little walk-up bodegas. You can get, you know, sundries, laundry detergent, shampoo, small food, fresh drinks. That means variety, variety, variety. Kind of bringing that idea to Tampa, I feel like would be really fun. Really focusing on the snack portion of everything. I feel like you can't have a Sorry Sorry store without snacks. No. I want snacks that are hard to come by just because there are so many different flavors. And I just love the idea of people getting to try new things because I love trying new things. I want to keep it revolving so there'll always be different snacks from different parts of Asia here. Um, a my mom will focus more on doing like Filipino baked goods, like suman, bibinka. I'll work with her, make it a little bit more different, the same but different. Um, <laughs> I chose the name Lucky Tigre because I'm real superstitious. Like I'm not just a little bit stitious, I'm very superstitious. I get that from my mom. And I was born near the tiger. I have a giant tiger on my back. Can you see it? I was looking up different tiger-related things one day. There's like a Malaysian saying, tigers prowl and prosper. And I feel like that's kind of me. It's all about making Filipino food accessible. It's important to give like even vegans a chance to like try Filipino flavors. It's very Filipino-American, definitely. It's Filipino food. It's not traditional, but it is genuine Filipino flavors through the lens of growing up Filipino-American. There are tons and tons of people in our community who can relate to that. I always hear when I'm like, oh, have you tried Filipino food? People are like, oh, I have a friend who's Filipino. I've eaten at their house. But it's never like I've eaten at a Filipino restaurant or anything like that. It just needs to be a little bit more accessible to people who aren't familiar with it. I'm just so proud of my culture. I love my culture. I love being Filipino American. I love everything that my culture has given me. I can appreciate so many flavors. I really appreciate food because being Filipino and like growing up, you're just taught that food is love. It's nourishment. And when someone's feeding you, that means they really love you. That's how they show they love you. And that's like a really beautiful thing.